Welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. This afternoon I'm going to take you for a walk around our 2012 FG Series 2 XR6 Ute. Uh, finished in a colour that Ford called Swift, um, which you, you know we'd rather probably call it metallic green. Or maybe who thought of the colour was maybe using something that was green. Anyway, starting at the front of the car, you notice it's fitted with factory fog lights. Does have bonnet protectors in really good order. The front of the car, the Juco spot on, fitted with fitted with factory. Uh, my cameraman was interrupting me. Sorry, uh, factory 18-inch alloy wheels, unscuffed. The ori original genuine alloys. Um, coming down the side, you notice uh, the XR6 badging on the side of the cab. Um, now important to note the quality of the tray that's been fitted to this car from top deck. Um, it is a really good quality steel tray. Notice the uh, lock up drop boxes on either side, checker plate mud flaps. Uh, once again alloy unscuffed on the right hand rear, brand new tyres on this car as well. Come around to the rear of the uh, car, notice fitted with um, the triple tail and brake lights does have Heyman Reese tow pack fitted as well, uh, 2.3 ton towing. So it's certainly going to do the job any tradie wants, wants it to do. Um, presenting very similar around the passenger side. Once again, really important thing to note with this car actually, um, every alloy wheel on this car is unmarked. They're actually as new. Once again, same thing, drop down box, made the allowance obviously for your uh, fuel cap there. Uh, and just as we scan back towards the front of the car, just look at the Juco. I'm really, I'd really apart from a couple of really minor little touch-ups on the bonnet, and, and you know, I have to be pedantic to point them out, the quality of the Juco on this car is outstanding. Just before we uh, discuss the performance uh, information about this car, we'll just uh, go back a step and uh, we'll, let's call these headlight protectors, I think not bonnet protectors. You're a log, Mark. Okay, a lot to like about the XR6. Um, it's going to give you 195 kilowatts of power, 391 newton metres of torque, at the same time delivering combined fuel economy of 10.7 litres per 100 k's. Based on the fact they've got an 81 litre fuel tank, will deliver in excess of 750 kilometres to a tank of fuel. So, uh, you know, performance and economy, it's got it all. So uh, just back around to the tray that we spoke about. So Top Deck uh, in Dandenong manufacture these trays, good size tray, uh, all three drop down sides, which I will demonstrate the rear one in a minute. Just important to note this uh, bar in the, uh, in the front here is removable. Just our two bolts, loosen off these two bolts, out she comes. So can be taken out if you don't need it. Just simple matter of releasing the two lugs on the rear of the tray. As I mentioned, we won't go to the extent of dropping down all three sides, but basically that's the process. You can remove them fairly easily. So certainly, you know, for the tray that they've actually fitted to this car when it was new, um, certainly set up to do a lot of work. Okay, now we're on the inside of the uh, XR6 and uh, we'll run through uh, all, all the uh, options. Uh, fairly simple, straightforward setup on our driver's armrest, our power windows, and just our little knob to control our exterior mirrors, both electric. Uh, on our uh, indicator stalk, you notice we've got auto headlights, so uh, they are light sensitive, we'll recognise darkness approaching. Just up on the right hand side of our instrument cluster, um, just our menu to stroll through all the different, uh, different things or information that it will give us up on our screen. Uh, the steering wheel is height and reach adjustable, so I can set ourselves up where we're nice and comfy. Notice the blue illuminated dashboard there, uh, really classy look to it in the XR6. On our steering wheel, leather wrapped of course, all of our cruise control settings from factory, and then all of our audio controls and our Bluetooth controls as well. It does support Bluetooth with audio streaming, um, so you've got it all at your fingertips. Multi-function screen up the top here does tell us that our air conditioning's running. As you can see, it is 29 in Melbourne today, so uh, keep ourselves nice and cool. Um, also down the bottom of the control screen, you notice it's telling us exactly what we've got on audio-wise, which station we're listening to is uh, a touch screen as well, so control everything at our fingertips. Climate control air conditioning, all controlled by these top two panels. 
also premium sound as we mentioned everything can be controlled off the steering wheel manual buttons to lock and unlock the car um, traction control uh, manual disarmament and just a uh, button for our interior light and just to turn it on and off manually we do have our t-bar uh, drive it as a, just a normal automatic or move it across into performance mode where we can actually just alter our, our gears by moving the stick our handbrake just beside it notice the leather wrap pouches on both just a little bit of class to it uh, cup holders just in the middle and then also inside our console lid we've got our auxiliary and usb inputs you also notice if you plug your phone in to charge it you've also got a phone holder in here as well so as i say fairly simple setup straightforward um, but uh, certainly ticks all the boxes we obviously have front airbags, driver and passenger airbags. Um, and just to touch on the uh, interior, obviously XR6, so you've got the quality sports seats. Um, and the interior is fairly much as new. Cars only travelled 33,000 kilometres. And the good thing about uh, that is not so much that it's low Ks. Uh, the service books, when I find them, I did get them out and I've uh, placed them strategically because now I can't find them. Um, just uh, one moment, we will get to those. Whilst we are uh, locating the books, um, important to note this car is still under new car warranty. Oh, books, where are you? I think they've slid under my seat. So moving right along after that technical glitch, uh, delivered date of this car was 25th of July, 2012. So under new car warranty until 2015. And just uh, flicking back to the servicing, we'll be very quick here. Um, yeah, intermediate services, the correct ones have been done at the correct intervals so far in its life. Good books, good quality. So anyway, uh, all you tradies out there and uh, probably Jim, Jim's mowing, or uh, I don't know, is it politically correct to say even a greenie might want to own this car? A um, few important things just to recap on, 195 kilowatts of power, 391 newton metres of torque, I think, 10.7 litres combined per 100 k's, in excess of 750 k's to a tank of fuel, still under new car warranty till 2015, 2.3 tonne towing, the car's set up to start work now, so um, don't think this car will last long. Hope the video helps you get an idea of the quality and feel free to give us a call on 9907 0555. Have a great day.